pre-flop, it's almost the same size, most of the situation for opening and three bet. It's basically the same size all the time. Uh, maybe it differs from in position or out of position. But post-flop, it, it differs more, way more. Yeah, post-flop, I think bet size in post-flop is basically the main question or the main like task of the No Limit Hold'em game. Yeah. Like, it's the only important question, basically, what, what are your bet sizes? So, like, all you know about poker goes through your head when you're picking your bet sizes. So it's, like, really, really hard to explain in a few words. But generally, if you're bluffing, you want to bet bigger. And you, if, you, if you're value betting, you want to bet smaller. <laughs> <laughs> I would say yeah. that. It's a bit more complicated. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think it's a good rule to go yeah, to. Yeah. <laughs> but it's about like the, uh, the more bluffs you can have here, the bigger you bet. Yeah. And uh, if, if, let's say, people don't expect you or like you don't really have many bluffs in this situation, you bet smaller because you give them a prize. If, you, if the prize is not good for them, they're not, not going to call. So yeah. it's basically this. The, num um, the percentage of bluff and percentage of value you can have in certain situation, and you can do some tricky, tricky <laughs> stuff. But basically, it's, it's like that. Usually, when my opponents range don't have too many very big hands, when I know he can't have like real nuts, so it's hard for him to have an like easy call. And so all of the calls he can make will be like really tough calls. In those situations, you can expect him to fold quite often if he's not like angry and you or something. <laughs> yeah, but it's the same. When they can really have the knots and uh, you, you just put the... Ma you, you go all in because you can bluff more like this because you know that they, they can have the knots, basically. I mean, it shouldn't really differ too much, but probably you bet slightly smaller in tournaments on average because like your stacks it's are shorter, more yeah. shallow, yeah. I think and people, you, you take less risk in general in tournaments because you're shorter and uh, so I think you bet smaller in general. When you like when you're playing in the game, you have no time for any mathematical formulas, I guess. You just need to think exactly like you said, like is this person going to call me with this hand or is he, is he going to fold this hand? You just like take your opinion on what you think they will do. But if, you, if you're trying to work on your game or analyze something, like you, know, you have a pen and paper and just like trying to break down the hand, then you can go to math formulas and just see what percentage of the range, blah, 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 do stuff like that. I think people like, have a bad interpretation with math and poker. It's not really, poker is not about math formulas, they're like very easy ones. Yeah. Like very, it's not about complicated uh, mathematical, I mean, formulas. It's just about some logic and some very easy math, some equation. And uh, it's just about logic, I would say, yeah, it's more than maths. It's maths equation are like very simple. Yeah, I agree. You need. It's more about how you understand other people's logic than about yeah, any yeah, math. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Maths is, it's not about the math, I think, poker.